Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you setting up jQuery on a Mac OS X based system. So there's a couple of files that I've already got. They are really simple. So you just need a browser. You'll need a text editor. I'm using Sublime. You could use something else. Totally up to you. And this is just a JavaScript file that just has the use strict tag, but apart from that, it's empty. This is where we'll be writing our jQuery code in the future. And it index the HTML file, which literally is just bare bones. And all it does is link to the JavaScript file right here. And now we are going to set up jQuery. So what you want to do is go to jQuery and then go to jQuery.com. I'll provide a link to everything that you need. Go to download. Then from here, there's a few different options. There's compressed, uncompressed, you know, minified, all of that stuff. I'm going to explain in a separate video. So feel free to take a look at that. So you can either download it manually yourself and link it up in a similar way that this file has been linked up. You can set up it using a package manager if you want to go down the route, such as Yarn or NPM. Or the other option is to use a CDN, which is what we are going to be using. CDN is a content delivery network, which just essentially stores the file on, you know, a server on a company server. And when you try and access it, you know, when you go into the web page, it will determine which server in, you know, which location in the world can deliver that file the fastest, and you'll use that server. And if we just go to code.jQuery.com, from here you can select which version you want. We're going to deal with uncompressed and if you just click whatever version you want you'll get this little pop-up and it shows you the code to copy you can either click this or just manually select it and you just paste it Ooh, that's not what i wanted or i copied it to the clipboard clearly it's not copying properly let me just copy this way okay there we go i just like this to be on the same line like so i'll put this on the same line as well okay so we have you know the actual location to the jquery file an integrity hash and this is just to confirm that it's a legit you know file otherwise this sha256 will fail and it won't link it up to prevent any you know sort of hacking going on as well. cross origin this allows us to use a file that's not on our server so if you're doing it locally you'll just set it up something like so if i save it go to my web page reload go to inspect from here as you can see it's right here go to console no errors fantastic if you go to sources and as you can see if you go code.jquery.com it is now here and we have access to all of this amazing code so that's it for setting up jquery on a mac if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message i'm going to show you how to set it up on other platforms as well and i look forward to seeing you in the next jquery video